Hi, today we're in Malibu Creek State Park, California. We're going to talk about two insects called velvet ants, but they're not really ants, they're wasps. And their sting is so bad, they're called cow killers. And the first one here, this is a red velvet ant. And this other guy here, he's a thistle down velvet ant. Now they both come from the class of insects, order of Hymenoptera, and family of Mutillidae. And there's over 8,000 Mutillidae in the world and about 400 different species live in California. And they're solitary insects, they don't build nests, they're active in the day and they settle down at night. And their exoskeleton is so strong, it's 11 times stronger than that of a honeybee. And the females are wingless, they spend their days walking around, the males have wings, and these guys that go by the name Velvet Ant, due to the dense pile of hair, which is mostly orange or red, sometimes black, white, silver, or even gold. So first, let's talk about our white ant. She's called a thistle-down velvet ant, Daisy Matilla gloriosa, or you can say Deja Matilla gloriosa. Either way is fine. She's found in Utah, Nevada, California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and even Mexico. She can't fly, but she can run around the ground pretty fast. They're mostly active in the day. They settle down at night. She's got a nasty sting that lasts about 30 minutes. And you typically find them on creosote bushes or the Laria tridentata plants out in the uh, Mojave and the Sonoran deserts. So their white fur allows them to camouflage and blend in nicely with the fuzzy fruits of the creosote bush. But the white coloration does not necessarily evolve for camouflage. It actually allows them to stay cooler on the hot desert sand. So it's a really strange co-evolution between the wasp and the creosote bush that allows them to survive in the heat by having this uh, fluffy, fluffy outer, you know, hairy fluffiness. And here, this is our red velvet ant. Now, since there are so many different varieties of red velvet ants, it's really hard to tell them apart. So you need to look at their overall size, the ratio of the head to the abdomen, variations of the red and black patterns, and the red brightness. So it's a way to signal the predators to stay away or they'll get stung. They can also make a sort of squeaking, screaming noise. And most come from the genus Daisy Mutilla, like the Daisy Mutilla aureola, or the Daisy Mutilla coxsonia perda, and they're both found in California. But this one here, ours here, is a Pseudomethoca anthracina. Now he's identified by his black body, which is covered with a fiery red stiff hair. She has a relatively wide head and lacks any yellow markings. She's only found in the western United States. And like the other velvet ants, she's wingless. She sports a rather nasty sting. All right. So thanks for watching and learning about a couple of our velvet ants or wasps. Hope you have a great day. Bye.